Welcome to the PCR, the Poker Tip Review of the Ascona by Sunfly Hybrid Ceramics. You can look at some information right here. It's a 39 millimeter chip and one of the new bits of information I want to discuss is the static coefficient of friction. So as we angled these over, they slid apart at about 26 degrees, which puts them right at the mean of our testing so far for all chips across the board, everything from metal slug chips all the way up to high-end pulsons. We have some very reasonable chips when it comes to static coefficient of friction. They're not too slippery and they're not too sticky. So pretty interesting how that works. Now, the first thing that we always talk about is quality control. The quality control on these is very good, which is saying a lot compared to other ceramics. Um, ceramics generally have a very high standard of quality and these are no exception. Uh, looking at some things here real quick, looking at the centering of the edge spots right here, you can see there's a little, they're a little bit off. They're not perfect. Remember, they're poker chips. So you're going to have hundreds of these. The labels are all very, very close to centered, near perfect. And the face printing is also very, very near perfect. So I would rate these slightly above average when it comes to quality control, color rendering, everything seems very, very consistent. Weight, width, thickness, all of that, exactly what you'd expect. So no complaints about quality. Let's talk about design. Now, we're going to have to sort these out in a numeric order because there's somebody who is obsessive compulsive who needs to see these in numeric order. And it's always funny how pedantic people are. You're talking to somebody conversationally and be like, oh, I'm so, I'm so OCD. And they're like, you're so OCD. And that means you're so obsessive compulsive disorder. You're not a disorder. It's not, you're just like, oh my gosh, I was being conversational. Why don't you just shut up? So I guess technically you'd say, I'm so OC, if you're being really pedantic. Thanks a lot. All right, 500, 1000. Um, earlier today, I took a picture of the 500 mixed in with the 10,000s just to see how clear it is that that's a 500, not a 10,000. Are those gonna be in play together? Mm, I don't know. Uh, we're looking for the 5,000. The 10,000 is just really lovely royal Maybe not royal, but a rich purple color. 100,000, 25,000, 50,000, and the 25,000 right there. There you go. Look at these large denominations. Lovely tournament set right here. Is that beautiful or what? Is John going to complain about the colors? He always complains about the colors. But today is no different. The 100. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's look at some 100s. Hmm. This is a really rich black. This is a nice, rich, solid black. This is a rich, solid black. Hmm. I wonder which one of these kids is doing her own thing. His, her, whatever, own thing. Hmm. One of them. I wonder why they just didn't make it black with white embellishments. Come on. That's all we ask for. Is that too much? I'm sure if you call them up, they would probably customize something for you specifically. Now, talking about edge spots is one of the most important things about design for me, especially with a ceramic. These edge spots are on the edge of the chip and not the face. Thank you. There are so many chips that try to mimic a mineral clay chip, right? Where the clay is inserted into gaps that are cut into the chip and then they're compressed, right? And so obviously go from one face through the edge to the other and you can see it right there all the way across. Ceramics, when they try to mimic this, uh, just it really bothers me. It's not a clay mineral chip. It's a ceramic chip. So there's nothing removed here. It's just they use dye sublimation and put this color on this blank. And look at this. It just looks horrendous, in my opinion. Hmm. Oh, look, it doesn't go through. Oh, look, it doesn't line up. Oh, look, this one's not even close to being lined up. Oh, well, if you pay for edge spot alignment, yeah, really? Get out of here. Not going to do it. Okay, so... The Ascona, it's like it doesn't have an identity crisis. It knows, hey, we're hybrid ceramics. We're going to act like hybrid ceramics. Edge spots, clean. Design, clean. Look at this. It's a very clean, clear design. No denominations, specific denominations, so no dollar or euro or anything like that. Glossy label you can see right here. So I have very few complaints about this. Uh, overall, I would rate these very highly. Now, that leads us to purchasing the chips. 
You go to their website and you think, hey, look, there are some reviews. So you read the reviews and then you realize, oh, these are written a minute apart. They're all about the same length with very similar verbiage. Hmm, sounds awfully contrived to me. But I'm not going to judge these chips based off of those written reviews. I'm going to base my review off the merits of the chip itself. And the chips themselves are very clean, very good, very nice. When you're ordering them, everything looks fine. The price seems reasonable. And then you see shipping and it's like, oh my goodness, where did that come from? Well, they're shipping overseas, especially here in the United States. Shipping is going to be kind of costly. So brace yourself if you're looking at buying a set of these. As far as I'm concerned, highly recommended. If you want to get some hybrid ceramics, these are a great option. A stock option, a great option. Now, let's do a quick little sound test here. Let me see what we have. For this sound test, we have Paulson Casino chips. We have some Metal Slug ABS Monte Carlo chips. We have some Nevada Jack ceramics. It's always good to compare a ceramic hybrid to a ceramic. And let's do Bud Jones and classic poker chips. All right, am I missing anything that anybody's really desperate to hear? Well, since I don't hear any complaints, I'm just going to proceed with the sound test here. All right, so we're doing a real casino chip versus the Escona hybrids. I just spilled everywhere. Interesting. ABS metal insert chips. Classic poker chips. These are the Atlantic Club Hot Stamp Stock Poker Chips from Classic Poker Chips. Casino Chips, Bud Jones variety. And finally, some ceramics. A little difference there. I hope this re review was helpful. The Escona Ceramic Hybrids, lovely chip. I can recommend these. Definitely get a sample set. Uh, if you can't find a sample set at a reasonable price, uh, sometimes checking eBay is just the best bet. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.